for me, going through your bio is hugely inspirational. And when I was looking at your bio, I'm like, this is the life of one man. But there's something that stands out, uh, KK, and that is that you are Mr. Cerevita. People don't know that. You actually led the team that created Cerevita. There isn't a country I've gone to in the region where people don't talk about Cerevita. I know Zimbabweans in the diaspora, every time they come home, when before uh, COVID, they would take uh, Cerevita with them or ask families to send Cerevita with them. Talk to us, uh, KK, about the inspiration to creating this brand, the team that created this brand with you. Hmm. So it, it, that, that's, that's uh, obviously something quite close to, to me, mm. uh, Cerevita. It's, a, it's an amazing product. Uh, so when I came back from Jamaica, I'd been with Nestle in Jamaica in uh, 1992, so I had a boss in Switzerland called Alex Yost. Mm. So he said to me, um, we need a new product, mm. something that's going to be big. So when you give me your monthly report, which was a one pager, <laughs> I want one paragraph to be on new products. What are you doing? If you failed, if you succeeded, but we need a new product. Our future is in new products. Mm. So, um, and you know, you can't keep writing that, uh, you know, we are trying, we are trying. That's, that's clear. Ongoing. <laughs> Precisely. That, that's, that's just not on. So I, I looked at the market at the time. We had some imported uh, brands coming into the country. And uh, th th this is work that I did personally uh, with uh, my marketing background uh, to look at, uh, the, the, to map the market and to look at uh, the opportunities. Uh, with some very good, uh, competent guys at the factory, uh, uh, Martin Tambanengwe, four four one. He had studied it food science at the local university here. Uh, so we, we we went to work to to see how we can use the equipment that we have, the capacity that we have, and the uh, uh, eating culture uh, of our people at, at the time. So a breakfast cereal. When I did the map, what was it was clear. And I listened also to consumers, uh, what is it they don't like about existing offerings on mm. the market? Mm. Because one thing I learned in marketing is that marketing is about uh, looking for the gap. Mm. Look for the gap. I think in French they say, mm -hmm. identify the gap and satisfy it. I think we identify the gap and we say, let's go for it. Mm. Uh, all effort was behind, be behind Cerevita. And of course, you know, with the Nestle world, with research, people in Switzerland, they help you with which uh, ingredient, how to treat it in the, in the factory, and so on. A lot of work had been done at the Nestle factory here. And, and in the Nestle world, there's what is called the Z line. The Z stands for Zimbabwe. Hmm. Uh, this was to do with the special uh, 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 technology for processing cereals, which was the Z line. Wow! Uh, that 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 was uh, done uh, b before I joined uh, before I joined Nestle, and uh, really ninety four ninety five we are on the market, and uh, phew, the rest is history, as they say. <laughs>